Hi, it's Nicola and welcome. Today I have a case study for you. It's a life coach who's penned a memoir, Point Me to the Skies, to help others. Today's show is sponsored by the Forever Young Autobiographies Publishing Service. This is a new service and to celebrate, I'm giving away one hour free with every service booked during September. And also today's show is brought to you by the Structure Success video training, which is a free training to help you plan the outline for your book. I have more about both of these coming up. It's wonderful that you've following, subscribed and liked the show as this helps other people discover the show. And if you are new, welcome. Forever Young Autobiographies is the place where we learn to write life stories for family and friends. So Jessica Lynn Jackus has written Point Me to the Skies and this is a powerful childhood mem memoir that really encapsulates courage, it encapsulates resilience and faith. Jessica is a life coach and she was born in Oakland, California and her story is one of tumultuousness and violence. There's a bit of a background to the book. She says her relationship with her mum was broken, she had, which was influenced by a drug and alcohol addiction. The relationship with her father was one of trouble, it was troubled and it was destructive. She goes on to have a relationship with a man that then mirrors her, her troubled past and she's forced to, she's forced to escape, to survive. And she makes a powerful comeback and shows that anything is possible. So I caught up with Jessica and she's given us a behind the scene look at how she wrote the book and also some writing tips if you're doing a memoir like this as well. Or even if you're writing an autobiography, an, another kind of memoir, a biography or another life story project. You're going to love Jessica's tips. So to kick off the show, I'm going to talk a little bit about how she started to write this book. Now she says it wasn't an easy decision by any means. She'd been told from ever since she was 18 that look, you really should write a story about your life. But she was in this place of healing. She needed to get through, deal with this trauma of her past and it took years for her not to feel ashamed about her past. And once she was able to get to that point, then she decided that yes, writing is the right thing to do. And the reason why she wrote, these are really powerful whys, everyone take note of this. She said the reason why she wanted to write was she wanted to alleviate the shame that others like who, her who had been through trauma who were feeling. So she she wanted to write the book so that her readers would then feel encouraged to speak up about such traumas as well and to pursue their own healing. So really powerful wise. She wasn't too concerned about what others thought about the book when it was coming out or when she was writing it. She says she spent hundreds of hours checking the accuracy of and the truthfulness of all her memories. And this is coupled with really strong support from her family and her friends, specifically her brother Paul, who went through a lot of what she went through in their childhood. So that's powerful, wise and support needed to start the book. Then we move on to Jessica giving us some information about the writing process. So after she'd done this healing and she was at a point ready to write, she said, actual writing took 18 months to do. So she would start each day with compiling memories and she used a technique where you have post-it notes and you, on each post-it note she was writing key events from her life, key memories from her life and creating a mind map. And then these are put onto a poster board in chronological order and this made it easy to then add more memories as, she, as they came to the surface and move things around. And she said essentially when that was done, she had the outline for her book. Now there was lots of challenges to writing a memoir like this and Jessica said there was 
you know, the difficulty of writing. It was constant, every day was hard, but especially the last third of her book. You know, talking about things that happen in your life is completely different, she says, to then sitting down and trying to process it and trying to write it. And for her, the memories and reliving those experiences really did have a re-traumatizing effect. And this made it really hard. But on the flip side, the, the positives to come out with this were the messages she's received from readers, from female readers, from male readers who've read her book. She says they have told her that her book has been really comforting. It is, her book has been really healing. And in some instances, it has given them the power or the, the motivation to confront their abusers. So amazing feedback and rewards for this writing. Now, Jessica says she loves her book. She can't pinpoint her most favorite part of the book, but she says she's you know, happily admits, look, I'm not the most perfect writer in the world, but this is my life. This is the rawness of my life. And she's proud that she's, she's survived it. She's lived this life. She's written about it. And now she's able to share it. And I think that's just wonderful. That brings me to the last point I have for you, which is Jessica's tips for new writers. So if you're writing a memoir like this, Jessica says, look, to prepare yourself. Don't expect it to be an act of catharsis, to be cathartic, or even that you're going to find joy or it's going to be rewarding. She doesn't say this to be, to discourage you from writing. She says this so that you have a level of preparedness going into it. It's really important, she says, that you remember why you're doing this. You are doing this to help others. Others, other people really need your story. They need to hear your story. And keep it in focus, keep the context that this isn't meant to be easy. Writing isn't easy mm. because writing memoirs, otherwise everyone would be doing it. So I think there's some really key tips there from Jessica. So thank you for sending those in. Thank you for sharing those with us all today. So there you have it. That's Jessica Lynn Jackis on writing her powerful childhood memoir, Point Me to the Skies. And just to recap, we've talked a little bit about how she started and decided to write the book, those powerful whys and the support she had, the writing process. Then we moved on to the challenges, the highs and lows of the book, and then the writing tips. So I'm hopeful that this that Jessica's experience will help motivate you so that you're one driven and brave like her to write your own story. If you'd like to see the cover of the book, details of where to get the book, there's a, there's a Kindle version as well. You can go over to my website at Forever Young Autobiographies slash Point Me to the Skies. Also got some photos of Jessica as well as links to other resources to help you through the different phases of your own writing. So please check that out. And while you're here or while you're over at the website, leave me a comment, leave us a comment. What really resonated with you about Jessica's writing? Maybe it was one of the writing tips or you've got a suggestion of your own. Leave us a comment and also if you'd like to send me an email, go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash contact. Earlier I mentioned the Forever Young Autobiographies publishing service. This is a new service and you can get one hour free uh, in September if you book and that's where I can help you personally. I can personally do your interviews. I can interview you, transcribe that all up so you can start writing or I can do the writing. We can get it all edited and published. So it doesn't, you can mix and match those services. Highly recommend you check them out. It's at foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash publishing services. And to qualify for that one hour free, all you need to do is make sure you've signed up to my newsletter or my email list. Jessica mentioned using post-it notes. And this is really fantastic. It's one of the techniques that I use in the free video training called Structure Success. 
and using the post-it notes like she did to come up with key events and key memories and organize those into a rough outline to really help get your writing started. It's a helpful exercise to revisit if you're struggling with the structure of your book. So I highly recommend that you give this a go. All you need to do is go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash structure success sign up. Put in your email, hit OK, and I'll send that to you straight away and you can watch it and really get started. I'll be back again soon with another topic. So it'd be wonderful if you could follow, subscribe and like the show. And you can check me out on Facebook as well. I'm over there too. So everybody, happy writing and I'll catch you again soon.